Good day. This is Bennett, also known as Jeremiah. Today we're going to do the type of question where they give you this equation and they ask you to write it in the form of f of x is equals to a over x minus p plus q. If you're interested in similar type of questions, the playlist is found at the end of this video. It is also found right here on the top right of the screen at the suggested video. So let's begin. All right, before we go to a higher level, let's deal with two questions in level one. So you're given this equation and they ask you to write this equation in the form of f at x is equals to a over x minus p plus q. So what you have to do is you have to focus on the denominator. Now, our goal is to come up with a plus two also at the numerator. So the denominator is x plus two and then we're gonna have x now notice this is x plus one but i'm gonna add a zero here so i'm gonna say zero plus one but that zero will be in the form of two minus two so notice that i added this stuff and i subtracted it at the same time so this is the same as adding zero so basically i did not change anything i only changed how it looks like so we always have to check what is in the denominator then we always have to add that thing and subtract it at the same time so afterwards we now have to split this fraction so now this is going to end up becoming x plus 2 over x plus 2 and then we're going to have plus and then this other is going to be negative 2 plus 1 over x plus 2 so notice that i just splitted a fraction Whenever we're adding or subtracting fractions, for instance, let's say we've got 2 over 5 plus 3 over 5. The rule is whenever the denominators are the same, we only have to add the numerators and then we're going to divide by that denominator. So basically, I'm just moving backwards. I'm moving from this step to this step. So basically, if you've got something like 3 plus 4 over 7, this can be split into 3 over 7 plus 4 over 7 because according to the rule of addition of fractions whenever the denominators are the same we just add the numerator and we keep the denominator we just write it as one so i'm just applying the rule in this stuff so now after this step we're gonna have x plus 2 over x plus 2 this is one so this this literally becomes one and then minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 over x plus 2. And then notice that we already have the standard form of the hyperbola. Now we just have to rearrange this stuff. So then this is going to be negative 1 over x plus 2 plus 1. And there we have it. We have written it in the form of f at x is equals to a over x minus p plus q. Let's go to one more example before we go to the higher level. All right, here is another question. So I ask you to write this in the form of f at x is equal to a over x minus p plus q. So at the denominator, we've got negative 5. We want to come up with a negative 5 at the top. So we are going to add 0, but this 0 will look like negative 5. So we're going to have, so at the denominator, everything still remains the same. And then now we're going to have x. Then we're going to say minus 5. Notice I'm just putting this here. But I have to add the opposite sign so that it's the same as though I added 0. Because minus 5 plus 5 is 0. And then I'm going to have plus 3. So once we have this, we can split the fraction. So when we split the fraction, this will become minus x, uh, or rather x minus 5 over x minus 5. Then we're going to have plus 5 plus 3 over x minus 5. And then from here, this is going to become 1. And then this is going to become 8 over x minus 5. So we already have the standard form of the hyperbola. So then this is going to be 8 over x minus 5 plus 1. And there we have it. Now let's go to the higher level. All right, here is another level. So you're given this equation and you're asked to write this equation in the form of f at x is equals to a over x minus p plus q. So this is the next level because we have got a coefficient of x. Matter of fact, we always have a coefficient of x, but whenever there is nothing in front of x, we already know that the coefficient is 1. So whenever the coefficient is 1, we call this level 1. But whenever there is a different coefficient, 
this is the next level so what do you do in this case whenever you've got a coefficient what you'll do is that you will first multiply these two so it's gonna be six positive six so it means that this time we have to come up with positive six on top so the first step is to multiply the coefficient with the number that is at the bottom including the sign and the answer that you get is what you have to come up with on top so we have to come up with a positive 6 on top. So, in order for it to look like we did not do anything, we have to add it and subtract it at the same time. So we're going to have to say positive 6 and subtract it at the same time. So, then from here we have to split it. Now you might be wondering why are we splitting it this way, why are we not splitting it this way? So whenever there is nothing here, this is the same as addition by 0. So basically, it's the same as addition by zero. Notice that this is 2, 2. We're splitting it exactly halfway. So let's split it. We're going to have 2x plus 6, and we're going to have x plus 3. And then this side we've got minus 6 over x plus 3. If you want, you can say plus negative 6 is still the same. So another thing that makes this the next level is the fact that we're going to have to factorize. So in this situation, whenever we have a coefficient, know that somewhere, somehow we're going to have to factorize. So we're going to end up having 2, then this side we're going to have x plus 3. And then we're going to have all over x plus 3 plus negative 6. Or if you want, you can say minus 6. Either way, it's still fine. So we have x plus 3. So from here, we're going to end up having this will cancel and this will be 2. So we're going to have 2, then we're going to have minus 6 over x plus 3. And when we rearrange this stuff, we have minus 6 over x plus 3, and we're going to have plus 2. So there we have it. We have written it in the form of a over x minus p plus q. Now let's deal with something that looks like it's in another level, yet it is in the same level. Just before I continue, if you want to be treated whether it is online or physically, whether it is the situation where you are struggling in maths, or whether it is the situation where you are good in maths but want perfection, take a screenshot or save these details. Whether you are studying Cambridge, which is the UK curriculum, or whether you are studying NSC, which is the South African curriculum, or IEP, or native courses which start from N1 to N6, or any curriculum you are doing no matter which country you are at, we offer tutorials. We have got lessons and practice sessions five days a week, we also give you tests once a week so that we can check your improvements. All right, here is another question. So when you see this level, we know that we have to multiply this with the number at the bottom. When you multiply 5 and 3, we get 15. So here we still, we still have 3, and then this side we're going to have 5x. So since we have to come up with 15, we have to add 15 and subtract it at the same time so that it's the same as though we did not do anything. So this is going to be minus 2. From here, we know that we have to split this stuff. So then this is going to be 5x plus 15 over x plus 3. And then here we're going to have plus. So we're going to have plus negative 15 minus 2. And then this over x plus 3. So from here, we're going to end up having to factorize this part. So when you factorize this part, we're going to have 5 and then we're going to have x plus 3. So we'll have x plus 3. And then this is going to be divided by x plus 3. And then we're going to have minus 15 minus 2 is minus 17. So minus 17 over x plus 3. So you can write plus minus or you can even change this to minus up to you. So from here we're going to have equals to. So this cancels and it leaves 5. And then this side we're going to have minus 17 over x plus 3. All right, this is supposed to be 3. It was not visible. All right, so if I rearrange it, I already have the standard form. So if I just rearrange it, I'm going to have x plus 3 and then plus 5. And there we have it. We have written it in the form that I wanted. Now let's do the last question before we call it a day. All right, here is the last question. Just before we attempt this question, if you are interested in knowing the prices of the tutorials, the video that contains the prices and the updated contact details just in case these ones have changed is found at the end of this video.
so we've got a slight problem this time we're given a negative so what you do when you're given a negative well you still have to multiply exactly what it is so you have to multiply this two if this was negative three you would say negative two times negative three but because it's negative two and positive three you have to say negative two times positive three so you have to say negative two times positive three that gives you negative six so we have to come up with a negative six right here so then we're gonna say negative two x minus six so because we added minus six we have to remove it at the same time so then this is gonna be plus five then we're gonna have over x plus three and then this is gonna give you so we're gonna have we have to split this part so we have to split this part so it's gonna be minus two x minus six all over x plus three and then we're gonna have plus six plus five so then this is gonna be x plus three so from here we're gonna end up having to factorize this part so then this is gonna be a minus two we have to factorize it with a negative so you have to literally divide the signs you have to be careful most people make mistakes because they don't check the signs they just deal with this stuff so you have to divide the signs in order to obtain things in the bracket so you're gonna have negative divided by negative which is positive so it means we're gonna have positive x and then negative divided by negative literally you have to divide the signs you're gonna have positive so it's gonna be positive three so that is it and by the way just know that if this bracket is not the same as the one at the bottom there is something wrong so then this is gonna be plus three and then here this is gonna be 11 so we're gonna have plus 11 okay this is a close bracket yeah, so we're gonna have 11 over x plus 3 and then these two cancel so i literally left with negative 2 so then this is gonna be negative 2 so okay we're well, literally left with negative 2 so negative 2 then we're gonna have plus 11 over x plus 3 so this when we rearrange it we're gonna end up having 11 over x plus 3 minus 2 and there we have it we have put it in the form that they wanted. Alright, we have reached the end of this video. I have included a playlist of similar type of questions. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Any questions you've got or any video you want me to create, please comment below. See you in the next video.